In Gosport of late there a damsel did dwell, For wit and for beauty did many excel. A young man did court her to be his dear, And he by his trade was a ship carpenter. He said, O oh dear Molly, if you will agree, And will consent to marry me, My love for you will ease me of sorrow and care, If you will but wed a ship carpenter. With blushes more charming than roses in June, She answered, Sweet William, to wed I'm too young. Young men are so fickle, I see very plain. If a maid is not coy, they will her disdain. They flatter and swear her charms they adore. When gained her consent, they care for her no more. The handsomest creature that ever was born, When man has enjoyed, he will hold in scorn. My charming Molly, what makes you say so? Thy beauty's the haven to which I would go. So if into that country I chance for to steer, There will I cast anchor and stay with my dear. I ne'er shall be cloyed with the charms of my love. My love is as true as the turtle dove. And all that I crave is to wed with my dear. And when thou art mine, no danger I fear. The life of a virgin, sweet William, my prize, For marriage brings sorrows and troubles likewise. I am loath to venture, and therefore forbear, For I will not wed a ship carpenter. For in the time of war to sea you must go, And leave wife and children in sorrow and woe. The seas they are perilous, therefore forbear, For I will not wed with a ship carpenter. But yet all in vain she his suit did deny, Though he still did press her to make her comply, At length with his cunning he did her betray, And to lewd desire he led her away. But when that with child this young woman were, the tidings she instantly sent to her dear, and by the good heaven he swore to be true, saying, I will wed no other but you. They passed on their time till at length he hears the king wants sailors to the sea he repairs, which grieveth the damsel unto the heart to think she so soon with her lover must part. She said, My dear William, ere thou goest to sea, Remember the vows that thou madest to me, But if you forsake me, I never shall rest. Oh, why dost thou leave me with sorrow oppressed? Then with kind embraces to her he did say, I'll wed thee, dear Molly, ere I go away. And if tomorrow to me thou dost come, a license shall buy and it shall be done. So with kind embraces he parted that night. She went to meet him in the morning light. He said, Dear charmer, thou must go with me. Before we are wedded, a friend to see. 
He led her through valleys and groves so deep. At length, this maiden began for to weep, saying, "William, I fancy thou leads me astray, on purpose my innocent life to betray." He said, "That is true, and none you can save, for I all this night have been digging a grave." Poor innocent soul, when she heard him say so, her eyes like a fountain began for to flow. O、oh, perjured creature, the worst of all men! Heaven's reward thee when I'm dead and gone. O、oh, pity the infant and spare my own life. Let me go distressed if I'm not thy wife. Her hands white as lilies in sorrow she wrung, beseeching for mercy, saying, "What have I done to you, my dear William? What makes you severe, for to murder one that loves you so dear?" He said, "Here's no time disputing to stand," and instantly taking the knife in his hand. He pierced her body till the blood it did flow, then into the grave her body did throw. Then William, affrighted, did tremble with fear, and began by the powers above to swear. He nothing at all of the matter did know, but as from the captain he went to go. Unto his surprise, he his true love did see. With that, he immediately fell on his knee, and said, "Here's my true love. Where shall I run? Oh, save me, or else I am surely undone." Now he the murder confessed out of hand, and said, "Before me, my Molly doth stand." Sweet injured ghost, thy pardon I crave, and soon I will seek thee in the silent grave. No one but this wretch did see this sad sight. Then, raving, distracted, he died in the night. And soon as her parents the tidings did hear, they sought for the body of their daughter dear. Near a place called Southampton, in a valley deep, the body was found. Why, oh, many did weep at the fall of this damsel and her daughter dear. In Gosport Church they buried her there. I hope that this may be a warning to all, young men, how innocent maids they enthrall. Young men, be constant and true to your love, then a blessing indeed will attend you above.